Hello, I'm Becky Bradshaw and I work in the Primary Maths team at Oxford University Press. I'm going to talk you through what's included in the Numicon Number Pattern and Calculating 4 teaching pack. If you're not familiar with it, Numicon is a maths programme that's based on a concrete pictorial and abstract approach, encouraging children to use structured imagery and apparatus to help them understand and explain mathematical concepts. This teaching pack is for Number Pattern and Calculating 4, so it contains all of the core materials you need to start teaching children aged 8 to 9 in Year 4, or P5 if you're in Scotland. Let's take a look inside the pack. It includes a number pattern and calculating for teaching resource handbook and an implementation guide. Let's start by taking a closer look at the teaching resource handbook. It provides step-by-step -step activities for developing children's understanding of pattern, algebra, number and calculating. Inside, you'll find information on how to get the most out of the Numicon teaching materials, including planning and assessment support, and how to use the physical resources. For number pattern and calculating 4, you'll need the Numicon Starter Apparatus Pack B, which you can see here. Opportunities to use the resources are clearly signposted in the Have Ready sections in the activity groups, which we'll come to later. There are long and medium term planning charts for all the activity groups in the teaching resource handbook. The teaching progression has been carefully scaffolded so that children meet a new topic only once they've had enough experience of the mathematical learning that underpins it. There's a handy overview of all the activity groups which highlights the key mathematical ideas covered by each one. This is followed by the 30 activity groups themselves, which are arranged into four strands, getting started, pattern and algebra, numbers in the number system and calculating. Let's take a closer look at an activity group. Each of the strands is colour coded and the information at the top of the page helps you to easily identify the content of the activity group and how far through the strand you are. Key mathematical ideas highlight the important concepts children will be meeting within the activity group and you'll also find an overview of its educational context like how it builds on children's prior learning as well as learning opportunities, these come from real classroom experiences and assessment opportunities. There are also clear links to the Explore More Copy Masters and the Explorer Progress books. Each activity group includes several step-by-step -step focus activities, starting with low threshold and building to high ceiling activities to allow you to differentiate for every child in your class within the same activity group. And they're all supported with easy to follow instructions and clear illustrations. There are also photocopy master resources to accompany the activity groups at the back of the handbook. Now we're moving on to the implementation guide. This is here to introduce what Numicon is and to offer you advice on how to best implement it in your school. It's full of practical advice, as well as the answers to some key questions about the most effective ways of using the resources, including how to plan and assess with Numicon. A section on the key mathematical ideas that children will encounter during the year will be an extremely useful reference tool before you start teaching from the activity groups. It includes detailed explanations about how to develop these ideas when teaching with Numicon. The final section of the implementation guide contains useful background detail on the research that inspired Numicon and its pedagogy. So that's an overview of what you get in the Numicon Number Pattern and Calculating for Teaching Pack. If you want to find out more, you can look inside the books on our website, or you can get in touch with your OUP educational consultant to order the pack. See the details on the screen now. Thanks for watching.